In this video, we're going to talk about detoxing with redox. And I want to make sure you understand a C or redox is not a drug. It's not a nutritional. This is something that is native to you. And this is important to understand because it helps you understand the safety of this. Number one, there's no possible allergic reaction you can have. Again, this is already in you. You can't be allergic to something that your body already makes. Number two, there's no toxicity. This isn't going to be something that builds up in your system. There is no LD50. There's no lethal dose that can be discovered on this. They did the research, they couldn't find it because your body just utilizes it and then reverts it back into saline. And you are a sack of saline, all right? Uh, when you think about contraindications, so this is a question that we get often, well, I'm taking this or I'm doing this regimen, don't worry about it. Redox in your body is already interacting with whatever you're doing. So when you supplement and add in more redox, you're not going to have any contraindications with any medicines. All right. The one downside that can happen is a detoxification. And I put that in quotes because the downside is actually an upside. All right. You need to understand that what happens when you detox? Well, your cells are filled, unfortunately, with toxins. We're exposed to pesticides. We're exposed to metals. Um, we're exposed to things in the drugs that we take, the food that we eat, the air we, we breathe and, and the water we drink. And those things can get put into our systems. And if we're not detoxing well, just day to day, there can be a buildup. And what happens is, you know, we know that a CA redox, the studies that have been done show that it upregulates something called the NRF2 pathway. The importance of this pathway is simple. That helps with glutathione in your body, the upregulation of glutathione in the body. Glutathione is your master antioxidant. So its role is to help detoxify your system and also help bring inflammation into balance. And so when that gets upregulated, think about that. If there's a 60% upregulation of the NRF2 pathway, and we know that glutathione helps you basically take out the trash, <laughs> it helps all the gunk come out of your cells. Well, if that gets upregulated, it's trash day, right? Everything's going to be flowing out. And think about it like if you had never taken a shower in your life. All right. And you get into the shower and all of a sudden, like, you're like, oh my God, showers are disgusting because all of this dirt is coming off of you, right? The shower isn't disgusting. The shower isn't producing the dirt. That dirt was on you. And what I want to say is it's the same with this. This is not producing some reaction. It's just allowing the toxins that were already in you to come out. And this can show up in a variety of ways. Uh, you might get a rash. Okay, remember, it's not an allergic reaction. It's just think about all the ways that your body could expel something through the skin is one way. Uh, sweating. I have some people that they've sweat out of one armpit and not the other, or their body odor starts to be intense for a little while. Again, because the body's pushing things out. Other things that I've had people notice is, you know, with their stomach, diarrhea, they're, they're just flowing more because more is coming out. Uh, some people feel achy. They feel a little bit like, you know, maybe like they have the flu, uh, headachey, that kind of thing. Again, nothing to worry about here. It's not that you're having a bad reaction to a SIA. It's actually a good thing. <laughs> it means that your body is responding really, really well and that your system was ready to get rid of some things that were lingering in there that shouldn't have been in there. All right. So I want you to understand if this is happening for you, very simple, drink more water. In fact, if you're just starting on a SIA, don't, don't worry. This is not something to be scared of. Maybe 10% of people like notice the detoxification. 90% of people don't even know what's happening. But uh, to help with that, drink more water. Hydration of your cells is just key number one for your health. But if you're, I'm in the US, so you might have to convert to your country's unit of measurement, but take your body weight in pounds, cut it in half. So if you're 200 pounds, that's a hundred ounces of water you should drink. 150 pounds, 75 ounces of water that you should drink. This is, again, just going to help to get things flowing out of your system as the toxins pull out. Uh, if you're going through a detoxification process and you're like, hang on a minute, like I'm having to run to the toilet like constantly, I can't work, back off of your redox. You can just back down. You're responding really well. Just take a little bit less. And so your body, you know, goes through that cleansing process at a slower rate. All right. That's, that's kind of the options you have. Some people like to just drink more and power through, but you know, I want you to be comfortable. Um, obviously we want your, your system to, um, to be able to handle what's going on in a way that doesn't interfere with your day to day. Now make sure you give it